everybody, my name is David. Thank you for watching Crazy Narcissist Ex-Girlfriend. Today's video is about the narcissist boss. I think pretty much all of us, after you start getting into your at least your late 20s and your 30s, we've all worked for the narcissist boss. Um, as you get into business, as you get into the corporate world, as you climb that corporate ladder, you will meet more and more narcissists. Prove it. Um, they, that's just what they want to do. Psychopaths, shit like that. They rise to the top in corporate, in corporate ladder. Um, I believe that owning their own business is something they really want to do. Really, really want to do. I know lots of narcissists that just think, I own my own restaurant. I own my own bar. You know, and they don't know anything about it. They don't care that somehow they got the money, sometimes from, from a loan or their parents or from, uh, I know lots of men that have borrowed money from women to open up their own business and it fails. Um, they know nothing about it. I've worked for a narcissist boss who owned a bar and restaurant. I ran the place for him. He knew nothing about the business, nothing at all. It was nothing more than pride and prestige. He'd have his friends show up and they all ate for free and they all drink for free because I can. You know, and I'm sitting there telling him, your business is failing, but you want to look like big, tough, top dog. Well, what's going to happen when you lose it and you don't know it anymore and you owe tons of money, you know? Don't think about that. Oh, David, don't bother me with that. Um, so some of the things you'll notice if you have a narcissist boss is they will actually compete with you. Um, sometimes I've noticed in a line of work that I was in a while ago, um, I had done it for many, many, many years and I've been like uh, high in management, okay? And um, so I knew my stuff really, really well. I had all kinds of different certifications um, that you didn't even have to have. I just did. I just, I knew every single thing about the business that I was in. And I was really good. I had a really good reference. And sometimes I've had a narcissist boss hire me. And it's because, I mean, they, on paper, they're like, man, I, I could use this guy. You know, he'd be good for me. But then once I show up, once I start working there, they do these little games. Okay. One thing they have to do is it's like a pissing contest with the other employees, right? So, so he will tell the other employees, oh yeah, he's good, but I don't think he'll last. He's not going to make it. And, and, and I've noticed one time I had a boss who was like uh, just a couple years older than me and I knew more about the business than he did. And he slowly started realizing this. Like he would say something, I go, no, no, actually it's like this. This is how it, this is how it works. And I, and I give him little recommendations saying, hey, you know, I might be able to make things easier for you if we do it like this. And it didn't matter what recommendation I made and it didn't matter how much better it works or how much of a good idea it was. Nope, nope, no. Nope. Stuck in their ways. Man. Narcissist boss are typical, typical when they own companies. They'll keep all the old stuff, do all the things the old ways. Doesn't matter if it works or not, you know. Um, they will devalue you. So they will devalue you right away. They will start telling you things that are bad about you. Um, they have to be in control of you and control of every little thing you do. Now I've ran businesses. I've had in a staff, pretty large staffs and stuff. And I know what direction is about. I know how to direct people. Okay. But you've got to let them a little bit, let them do it on their own. It's just like, um, it's just like when it's somebody else's idea, that's when they really do things. That's when they really excel if it's their idea. If you can get an employee to think that they're the ones doing this and not so much you just do it, do it, do it, do it, they do, they work better. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, these guys will just, I mean, fuck, dude, you, you turn this way and they're like, no, 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 no. I mean, I worked for a boss once. It was just like, man, like, can I walk away from you with my left foot first? Or should I go right foot first? And he'll go left. And you take a left. No, no, no. no. Oh, right foot, right foot. You know, like that. Just no matter what you do, it's wrong. Got to do it this way. No matter what. No matter what. No matter what. Anything you do, wrong, wrong, wrong. That's wrong. You fucked up. You messed up. You made a mistake. Okay? Gaslighting. Let's get into gaslighting. Bosses love to gaslight. They love it. They love gaslighting. They love to screw with your head. And my, I had a boss once that he competed with me and he just had to keep knocking me down in front of the people. So what he would do is gaslight. 
he would say, David, do you remember that time? Do you remember last Tuesday such and such happened? And I'd say, I wasn't here Tuesday. That's my day off. He'd say, you were here. And I'd say, no, I was not here. I did not work Tuesday. He'd say, you were here. You just don't remember. And, and it's just kind of like, dude, you can't argue with a boss. And that's what sucks about these people. Once they're your boss, man, you're screwed. You're screwed. He would tell me that I did things when days I didn't even work. He would say, do you remember this big scenario that happened? I go, well, I heard about it. Someone told me about it when I came back to work. He'd be like, you were here. You were here. And it's just like, dude, I was not here. You piece of shit. You know I wasn't here, you fuck. Look at the goddamn... I'd be like, here's the schedule. Wasn't here. I'd be like, oh, I was here? Let me write it down that I was here. You can pay me. You know? I mean, it's just, dude, you piece of shit. So he did these things constantly. And, and, and then, okay, so that one scenario, he said, you were here. You just don't remember. You don't remember anything. And it's like, oh, okay. And then somebody came up, literally, right then and there, someone walked up and asked me something. He goes, David doesn't remember anything. Don't ask him. He doesn't remember anything like that. It's like, oh, okay. I was not here. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm just telling you I wasn't here. No, nope. you were here. You don't remember anything. Now, David's stupid. David doesn't remember anything. Don't talk to David. Just like that. Just fucked up shit. Um, cheap. No insurance. These people will lie. And lie on your hours. Lie on your time cards so that you can't qualify for insurance, so you can't get medical, dental, vision, so that you can't even, even if you uh, get fired, you can't even claim unemployment. They know that. They love to screw you, don't they? If minimum wage was $1, they'd be paying you $1, wouldn't they? And then they give you a quarter raise after a year, like, ooh, ooh, 25 cents, ooh. Fuck out of here. So, breaks. No breaks, small breaks, short breaks. Oh, you smoke cigarettes? Okay, how much time you need? 10 minutes, take a five minute break. Oh, it's busy, don't take a break yet. Don't take a break yet, can't take, it's busy, it's busy, it's busy. They will screw with you just in little breaks because they're such tight asses, they pay you per second is how they think of it, per second. Now I have ran big companies, I know what it's like to pinch pennies, okay? I know what that's like, you have to do it. But you don't do it to your employees like that, man. It's too much. It's too much. Lunch breaks. I've had bosses that would not let us take lunch breaks. I've had bosses that would make me work 10, 11, 12, 13 hour shifts, no lunch. Or it's got to be when it's just totally, totally dead. So you go get some lunch. You can't sit down, stand and eat it. Uh, sit at the register and eat your food. Sit there and eat and try and help customers and stuff. Nasty, with dirty hands. With touching money and then touching your food. They don't care. They don't care. Oh, you're sick? Too bad. You're lying. You're sick? No, you're not. Come to work. Oh, you've been sick too much. Well, how about I eat my food touching money and not washing my hands and I get sick? No. No, no, no. That's not why. It's just because you are weak and you get sick all the time. I love narcissist boss, man. They can suck it. Uh, vacation. I had a narcissist boss once. He hired me to run his business. I was the manager. He, he was the owner. He was never there. I ran his business. He said, he said, after one year you work here, you get one day paid. Vacation. After you work here two years, you get a vacation and two of those days are paid. Three years, three days, four days, four, you know, four years, just like that. After one year, I say, can I take my vacation? Yes. I said, so I get one day paid? He goes, no, that's after you work here for a year. I said, no, I worked here a year. He goes, no, 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 no. One year doesn't count. The first year doesn't count. We start on the second year. After that year, it's, it's just like, oh, man. <laughs> okay. All right. So no paid vacation the first year. The second year, I've worked there two years now. I say to my boss, boss. Can I have my one day paid off? No, that's next year, David. I worked there over four years and never had one paid day off. Uh, taxes. 
they will lie on your time card and they will say they will not pay taxes. I don't want to pay taxes, so I'm going to just pay you under the table. Don't do that, guys. Never a good idea to work under the table. Never, never, never. Employers want to know where you worked. I went and, uh, several years ago, I went and got, applied at a job at a huge, huge casino. And they wanted all my tax records. So I showed them all the times I worked. And then they said, go get us your tax records to make sure it lines up perfect. I'm telling you guys, don't, don't let these people do these things to you. Okay? Don't let them do it. Cheap. They're cheap. Cleaning supplies. I had a boss once. Okay? It was, a, it was a business with a kitchen in the corner. So here in Nevada, we have to have chemicals, specific chemicals to, do, to wash all our dishes. Actually, the state will come and make sure you have them. If you don't, you're, you're closed. So my boss bought these chemicals. They're really expensive. He, he had the restaurant open for a couple of years, never opened it one time. Never opened it one time. And the state would come and say, oh, you got it? Okay, that's all. <clears throat> this is how he washed dishes, you guys. A cheap, cheap little bottle, right? You know, the little smaller than this, cheap, cheap little bottle of dish soap. Not antibacterial, just cheap ass dish soap. And then he would dilute it, add so much water, there's almost no color. When you put it in your hand, you like this, not one bubble. And he wants, he, for two years, he ran his kitchen open, and that's how he cleaned things. And everybody got sick all the time. The employees kept eating the food and going right to the bathroom every time. I'd tell them, no, 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 no. That's not true. No, no, no. I mean, it was just a joke, man. I mean, you're killing people. He doesn't care. Save money. Be careful where you eat out, guys. Uh, I gave a boss a two-week notice once. I worked there four years. I said, boss, time for me to go. Now, I told him the whole time I'm leaving. I said, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Um, I remember one time I told a boss I got, I was really proud and I told myself, I told him that I got certified for something, right? I was so proud. I was like, I got certified for something. He goes like this. He's looking this way. He looks down like this, walks this way, goes into his office and starts slamming shit. Saying, fuck that shit. Fuck your sister's pussy. Fuck your certification. That's what he said. Nice, huh? Well, thank you. Thanks, boss. <laughs> um, so, two-week notice. I gave him a two-week notice. This is an easy, filled position. You could have someone in a week know how to do it and done, working. If he needed someone, he would have had them replaced in a week and working. Me, I gave him a two-week notice. Three months later, I'm still working there. Three months later, not replace me. I didn't show up. Bye. He had someone working next day. Bam, done. Piece of shit, man. Pieces of shit. I had a boss once. I ran a business, a large business. It had a big staff. He paid every single person minimum wage, no matter what. People were working there three, four years, minimum wage. Never a raise. No, can I have a raise? No, no one gets a raise. Everyone's minimum raise, minimum wage. Okay. He showed up one day in a Bentley. Like a $200,000, $250,000 car. And wants to show the employees. Hey, look, look at my car. I said, what the fuck are you doing? I said, these guys can't even eat. Get the fuck out of here. And never come here again in that thing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Piece of shit. Jesus Christ. I had a boss one time. I worked, I ran his business for four years and he never asked me a single question about my personal life ever, which is fine. That's fine. Don't. I come here to make money, not friends. I don't really like him anyways. I don't care what he's doing. I don't ask him what he's doing. This piece of shit after four years asked me what my religion is. I quit. Fuck you. You care about my religion? After four years, you don't ask me a single goddamn question about my love life, about my family, about my home, about fucking nothing. How do you feel? Nothing. What religion are you? Fuck you. Get out of here. These are narcissistic bosses and they all fucking suck and you cannot work for them. Look for the signs. If you have one, just leave.
just leave. He's going to screw you over. Screw the two-week notice. He's just going to tell everyone you didn't give him one. Trust me. I had a narcissist boss once. I replaced a manager who supposedly stole $5,000, right? Four years later, I give him my notice. I leave. He tells everyone I stole $5,000. It's just, it, screw these motherfuckers, all right? Screw them. Be careful who you work for. You should have an employer that is, treats you well. Why not? Why not? I have had employees that I have treated so well, and they worked so hard for me. So hard for me, because they liked me. If they wanted to, they could get away with all kinds of shit I would never catch them doing. But they didn't. They were so honest and so good, and I just really, it, it, it works. You don't have to be an asshole. You don't have to work for an asshole. You don't have to put up with this shit. If you have a boss like this, document stuff. Record things, okay? Get a lawyer if you have to. Don't take it. Don't take it. Get out of there, all right? I hope some of this stuff helps. Interesting, okay? Thank you, guys. Love yourself first. If you have any questions, go down below and ask me. Please vote. Thumb up, thumb down. Give me a comment. Anything you can do to help me, okay? Thank you. I appreciate it. Love yourself first, guys. Bye-bye. Danny Dog Productions.